Emma, and I'm a volunteer with the Shasta Historical Society. This video is the first in a series we're going to be doing where a volunteer like myself or John will be going to different sites in Shasta County and making videos where we tell you a little bit about the history of that site. The first we're going to talk about is this building where the Shasta Historical Society currently resides. This building was actually built in 1902 by Chauncey C. Bush Sr. and it was the first post office in Reading. It was constructed by a company in Anderson, the uh, Holt, and, Holt and Greg Company for $5,500 and it was designed by a local architect, Matthew C. Heron. The post office stayed here for 12 years and then it moved somewhere else. If you know where the post office moved after this, you should comment in the section below. After that, it had a series of different occupants, including in 1915, the assayer's office of uh, Michael E. Dittmar and uh, Hal Weldon. They stayed for two years and then they were replaced by Harry O. Cummings' Chevrolet Car Agency, which stayed there until 1923. Some of you might uh, recognize some of the businesses that moved in after this. If you do, you should also comment in the section below. Some of the occupants after this were the J.C. Penney Company in 1930s, uh, C.B. Singleton's Women's Wear in 1939, the Burke's Dress Shop stayed here in the 40s, uh, Le Fay and Son Hardware in 1945, which stayed until 1966, and Reading Hardware, which was known by a different name, and if you know that, you should comment in the section below. Um, after that was the Graphic Emporium, which stayed until 1996, and then the Historical Society bought this building and moved in over the summer of 1997, and it's stayed here ever since. This building is a historical landmark in Reading, and its history uh, reflects some of the growth that Reading has experienced over its long history. If you have any feedback for us while we make these videos, we would love to hear it. Please let us know what you think of this video and what you'd like to see maybe in the future. And stay safe.